Hi, here I have two Lenovo ThinkPad laptops. This is Lenovo ThinkPad T490S and this is T490. Both of these models were released on the market in 2019. They are aging well, but in this video we're gonna have a review of Lenovo ThinkPad T490. We're gonna discuss the technical specifications, the advantages, the disadvantages and is it worth using such a laptop in the AI and machine learning era if you are a Linux user? The technical specifications of ThinkPad T490 feature an Intel i5 or i7 8th generation CPU. According to the datasheet, it is also possible to have this with 10th generation CPU, but I've never seen such units. There is 8 or 16 gigabytes DDR4 RAM soldered on the main board and there is a slot for additional up to 32 gigabytes of RAM which means that in total depending on the soldered uh, RAM you can have either 40 gigabytes or 48 gigabytes of RAM. My ThinkPad T490 is with Intel Core i5 8th generation CPU. Nowadays Intel is falling apart but back in 2018 and 2019 i5 8th generation was a solid CPU for laptops. The size of the display is 14 inches. T490 supports several different display options depending on the resolution. You can buy it with HD, Full HD or even WQHD. There is even an option to buy a multi-touch display with Full HD resolution and IPS matrix. The model is written on a label situated on the right lower corner below the display. Let's have a look at the connectors, first on the left side of the laptop. There is a USB-C power connector, after that USB-C Thunderbolt 3 connector, next to it dock connector, after that USB 3.1 generation 1 connector, HDMI 1.4 connector, headphones and micro combo and finally a micro SD card reader. Optionally, some versions of T490 have GSM modem and in this case on the back there is a micro SIM card slot, however my unit does not have a GSM modem and there is a no micro SIM card slot, uh, you can just see the placeholder for it. The connectors on the right side of the laptop are Kensington lock slot, RJ45 connector for uh, plug-in LAN cables, another USB 3.1 generation 1 connector and optionally a smart card reader. If you need more connectors please consider buying a ThinkPad docking station and I have reviewed several models in my other videos. I'm living in Plovdiv, Bulgaria but this laptop has been imported from England and it has a UK keyboard layout. It has the iconic ThinkPad tracking point and of course a touchpad as well as a fingerprint reader. You can open ThinkPad T490 up to 180 degrees as shown in the video. ThinkPad T490 has the ThinkPad shutter which is designed to protect your privacy. Basically, this is a mechanical sliding cover next to the camera lens of the internal camera, so you can cover or uncover the camera. Here is the back cover of T490 case. It is built of ABS plastic plus magnesium alloy. There is a Microsoft Windows sticker on the back because this unit came with Windows out of the box. However, I'm a Linux user, so I've wiped it out and now I'm running Ubuntu. The laptop has two 2 watt stereo speakers with Dolby Audio Premium. The speakers are located above the keyboard and below the display. This guarantees very decent sound and better sound compared to, for example, ThinkPad T490S on which the speakers are on the back of the laptop. The keyboard is spill resistant and has six rows, including multimedia FN keys. In terms of the keyboard backlight, T490 has two options, with LED backlight or without. My particular unit is with LED backlight and you can see how I can switch between the different uh, levels of brightness uh, by clicking the FN key simultaneously with space. T490 is powered from USB-C connector and next to it there is a charging indication LED which supports two colors, white and orange. In case of a problem, the charging colors and blinking combinations could be useful for debugging. The laptop is compatible with USB-C power delivery power supplies which means that the laptop negotiates with the power supply the voltage level uh, but several fixed voltage levels are only supported the maximum is 20 volts and here is a quick test that we can see in idle mode it consumes about 5 watts at uh, 20 volts. ThinkPad 
T490 has all the advanced BIOS and UFI features as well as the advanced diagnostics, which are a trademark for ThinkPad models. This is a firmware feature which you can use no matter what kind of operating system you have to diagnose your hardware. As soon as you press the power on button, the laptop will turn on and you're gonna see the logo of Lenovo. Under it, there is a small text saying uh, to interrupt normal startup, press enter. If So if you hit enter, you're gonna see this interactive menu with several options. F1 is for the UFI BIOS settings and F10 is for the diagnostics. For convenience, the BIOS supports two different types of user interface, a graphical user interface, which I'm using right now, or text-based user interface. No matter which UI prefer, the BIOS allows you to change various configurations, including security things such as enabling or disabling secure boot. It is worth to mention that Lenovo ThinkPad T490 has a built-in TPM20, which means that it supports the latest and greatest versions of Microsoft Windows, such as Windows 10 or Windows 11. However, as a Linux user, I highly recommend you not to use them, and I highly recommend you to use a Linux distribution. As part of this short demonstration of the firmware available on ThinkPad T490, I want to reboot once again the computer and enter the diagnostics. This is a feature that makes ThinkPads really special. You can run various tests to verify that the hardware is functioning properly. You can check the storage, the battery, the display, the RAM, pretty much anything. I'm a Linux user, but Linux is just the kernel of the operating system. You need a bunch of other components in order to have a fully working system. And because of this, open source gives you the freedom to choose between different distributions and components in the Linux user space. My setup is with Ubuntu long-term support release. At the moment, I'm using uh, Ubuntu 24.04, which still gets regular updates. I'm using it with Systemd, uh, Wayland Display Protocol and the GNOME desktop environment. This is a simple and fairly straightforward setup. I'm curious to learn what is your preferred setup. There is a lot of room for optimization if you're looking for better performance, specifically for an older laptop such as T490. For quick access, I have configured fingerprint login. Here is how my desktop works. I've opened a terminal uh, just to show you a few things. So I'm running Ubuntu 2404 long-term support release. Ubuntu has uh, LTS release every two years. The next one is coming in April 2026, or at least it, ex it is expected then. Uh, so this Ubuntu 2404 that I'm running right now on T490 is with Linux kernel 6.14. I have already told you, but here is a confirmation from the software side that the hardware is with Intel i5 8th generation CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. In a previous video, I did an upgrade of this uh, ThinkPad T490, and as of the moment, I'm running it with uh, SSD with capacity of 512 gigabytes. I'm using the uh, Wayland uh, display protocol with GNOME version 46. This Ubuntu setup works like a charm on ThinkPad T490 with all basic applications such as the web browsers. I have both Chrome and Firefox, all software suits, of course, the terminal. Well, and um, even for coding, it's uh, absolutely fine. It's a very good laptop for both engineers and software developers. T490 is great in terms of repairability and upgradability. It has all check marks on my list. You can upgrade the RAM, you can easily change the SSD, you can easily change the battery. If you need to replace the keyboard, you can do it from the front without disassembling the whole laptop. I have covered these uh, things in various videos and I even have a complete teardown video for um, ThinkPad T490 without any special tools just with a screwdriver and a plastic card you can remove the main board and uh, replace it without going into too much details here is a sneak peek of my other video in which i did a complete teardown of thinkpad t490 and i replaced the main board uh, the cpu and uh, the ram are soldered 
on the motherboard however there is a slot for extra ram which allows you to do a ram upgrade along the way you can replace the speakers the fingerprint reader the touchpad uh, and of course the battery. Uh, I would say that uh, ThinkPad T490 is quite flexible and easy to repair. It is of course not as modular as the framework laptop for example, however here we are speaking for a mainstream ThinkPad laptop, therefore uh, I definitely would recommend it in terms of repairability. One more thing, uh, Lenovo ThinkPads in general come with high-end components and most of them have firmware that can be upgraded. Nowadays, Linux users with the Ubuntu distribution, like me, as I showed you in the previous chapter of the video, have the advantage to use an open source application called Firmware Updater. It is part of the built-in applications in Ubuntu because it's developed by Canonical. Uh, the purpose is to easily upgrade uh, the firmware of the peripheral components inside the computer, in this case inside the laptop, uh, using um, user-friendly graphical user interface. Firmware Updater is an open source application. The source code is available in GitHub. It's written in the Dart programming language using Flutter for the UI. The backend is powered by FWUPD. Recently, I used Firmware Updater on Ubuntu 24.04 to upgrade the firmware on the mainboard of this Lenovo ThinkPad T490. I have recorded the whole process in a separate video. It was straightforward and easy. The whole process took me less than 8 minutes. If you are curious to learn more details about the firmware updater in Ubuntu as well as the teardown, have a look at the links in the description of the video for the related other videos. T490 is aging really well and it has advantages even for today's standards. I've already explained that you can easily upgrade it by adding a bigger SSD or more RAM. Furthermore, in comparison with T490S, it has an Ethernet port which allows you to plug a network cable. Although ThinkPad T490 is a great laptop, there are some disadvantages worth mentioning. It is heavier compared to T490S and it is also thicker, but this is because of the Ethernet port that I've mentioned as an advantage, so you can't have it all. It is also with 8th generation Intel CPU, which is a bit old for today's standards, but it's still fine for the majority of the Linux users out there. Another disadvantage that you may consider is that it comes with Thunderbolt, but it does not support the latest generations of Thunderbolt, such as Thunderbolt 4. Uh, this is a disadvantage only for users uh, that are looking for using it with a docking station and specific peripheral devices which support Thunderbolt 4, so it's not a big deal for most of the users. So to summarize, Lenovo ThinkPad T490 is a model from 2019. It supports Intel i5 or Intel i7 8th generation CPUs. According to the datasheet, it can also support 10th generation uh, CPUs. However, I've never seen such. My is with 8th generation. It has either 8 or 16 gigabytes soldered RAM uh, on the main board. There is a slot for extra up to 32 gigabytes RAM, which means that you can upgrade it. Uh, ThinkPad T490 also supports up to 1 terabyte M2 2280 SSD. T490 is a solid laptop that's aging really well, especially for Linux users. Right now I'm using Ubuntu 24.04 LTS on it without any issues. Ubuntu with uh, Wayland and the uh, GNOME desktop environment isn't a lightweight distribution and despite that T490 works like a charm with it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful, especially for those of you who are planning to buy a second-hand laptop and considering T490 as an option. It is a great laptop for Linux users. Um, if I have to compare it, I prefer it better than T490S, but I would prefer to buy T14 generation 1 which is very similar, almost the same chassis but with better CPU as it is the next generation of ThinkPads. Actually I've reviewed 
uh, in another video. Have a look at it if you are curious. If you have any questions or recommendations, please leave a comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. Hope to see you soon.